I really enjoyed reading your paper. Yeah. <laughs> I like your ideas and I, I like your opinion. The best holiday for children in the year is summer vacation. Yeah. Thank you. you get to give your brain a rest. Yeah. <laughs> okay, would you like to read your paper? And there's some questions I want to ask you and that we can talk about for a couple minutes, okay? Would you like to start reading it to me? Okay. In my opinion, the best holiday for children in a year is summer vacation. Summer holidays often starts in May, so we can do many things with our pleasure of helping to go to school or don't need to waste time doing any homework. We can do lots of things which we love or really want to do. For me, I have lots of plans to do on summer vacation in this year. Firstly, I really want to learn to play volleyball because I want to play in this sport. Also, playing volleyball help me increase my height during my puberty. Height. Height. My height during my puberty, and this sport is really good for our health. On the other hand, I still don't have much time to learn it because I had to join some extra classes during summer vacation, but I will try to schedule my time to be able to sign up for the spa. Okay, so you want to stop there for a minute? I want to ask you a couple questions. First of all, volleyball is getting much more popular in your country, isn't it? I've heard a lot of students say they want to learn to play volleyball. Uh, I think it's very popular. Yes. yes, and it is a fun, it's something you can do in a group and so you can do it with other people and it makes it fun. So I, and, and I think it is good um, for your health to have something like that. The other thing you said, you will have to join some extra classes. What extra classes do you have to do this summer? Uh, that is math, literature, and English. You have to do math classes all summer? Uh, yes. Oh. <laughs> How many days a week will you have to do them? Uh, two days a week or sometimes three days a week. Wow. And okay, so you can go to where it says secondly. Secondly, I really want to learn to cook some more dishes because I love cooking. Cooking is the best way for me to cultivate my skill or patience. Cultivate. Cultivate. Yeah. Okay. Uh, summer vacation is time to do things I like. I like watching anime movies and reading them, so I decided to watch all the films which I didn't have time to watch before, such as Chichika Sen, Attacks on Titan, or Food Wars, Shokugeki no Soma. Okay, when you said reading them, do you mean are there books about them? Uh, no, there are many books. Okay, you said you like watching anime movies and reading them. So you like, you just like reading the books, not necessarily about those movies. You just like reading books. Yes. That, that, okay. Okay. This vacation is the best time for me to spend more time with my family. So I hope that we will have some trips to visit my famous places in Vietnam. Should ask for a Dalai Nam again because I haven't had any trip for our Ho Chi Minh City for a long time. Okay, and you know what? I went to Hoi An the last time I was there. That was really fun. I went to a silk farm and saw how they make silk cloth. And I went to a pottery village and got to work. It, <clears throat> there was a place where I could sit down and the woman showed me how she made her pots. It was really fun. I like that city a lot. And their night market, it was, it was very, very nice. I liked that a lot. 
And I went to Delot. Oh, I think Delot is beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I love the flowers. One of my friends, her son is graduating from high school in Ho Chi Minh City this year. And he, this this week, he and the the people, the students he's graduating with are on their 12th grade trip and they're in Delot to, all together. Yeah. And they're going to spend five days and do many different things. And in Da Nang, that, that Dragon Bridge. Yes. That's an interesting thing, yes. And we, if, if you go to Da Nang, <clears throat> when I was there, <clears throat> they had a brand new coffee shop. And they said it was the coffee shop that cost the most money to build of any coffee shop in Vietnam. It was very, and they said when it opened, like many people from the government came to, to see it and everything, and it had very good food. And inside it had, oh, beautiful places with fish and all kinds of stuff. It was, it was really, we had a nice time in Da Nang. Yes. So you want to go? Have you been to all those places before? Uh, yes. And you just like to go again. Good. 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 Okay. And when I have free time, I will try to practice my skill in English because the next year we will be the last grade in my middle school, so I have to study a lot to prepare for the entrance exam to the high school. To practice listening. I will listen to foreign music because I love listening to music. Okay, so I don't know if I told you this or not. I Maybe I did. Um, do you know who the singer Celine Dion is? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I have heard about her. When she grew up, she only spoke French. And when she was about 12 or 13, she was discovered and they wanted her to make records but they wanted her to do it in English and she couldn't speak English. So that's how she learned English. She listened to music in English and listened to the words. And that's how she, that's the main way she learned English was listening. So that's a good choice for you, listen to music. Yes. About improving my vocabulary in reading, I will try to read some books without a translation. English writing skill is the hardest one for me because I'm not good at writing in English and I still have some mistakes in grammatical structures or have difficulty in arranging the most suitable words in sentences. I think I will practice it by writing some more topics and then I can give it to my teacher to check it for me. This summer is a bit busy for me because we are going to build a new house so we have to move to another house and bring our home tools and furniture to the new house. I have to have my mom move the tune to the right places and arrange them neatly. We moved to the new house three days ago, but my house is still messy because we have a lot of things to do, a lot of things to tidy up. So those are my plans for the summer vacations. I have lots of plans for summer vacation. I will try to do them all of them in three months. I think I will have a fantastic and special summer vacation. Very good, and, and I think you are really doing well writing down your ideas and one of the things you do that a lot of students i have worked with do not do you do a good job of explaining yourself and that's very important when you're writing an essay like when you were talking about volleyball you didn't just say i want to play volleyball because i want to learn a new sport you explained why that yeah. it will help you increase your height and it's good for your health. That's remember when you're writing, that's very good so that the other person who is reading what you're writing really understands. And like when you talked about the movies you want to watch, you gave the names of some of them. And when you talked about trips you want to take, 
you named specific places. And that's very, very good when you're writing to remember to do those things because then it helps. Like when I was reading your paper, when you sent it to me, it helped me really understand why you wanted to play volleyball, where you wanted to go, what movies you wanted to see. And that's a very good thing to do when you're writing an essay. So yeah. I think you're doing very good. Yeah. And anytime you want to write something like this and send it to me, to, to, you just you just do that. And, and I will be glad to do it. Now, where are you building your new house? Will you go to the same school? Is it in the same area? Yes. Uh, well, I have five questions for you. Uh, I want to ask you, okay? Okay. Okay. First one is, what are your plans for this summer? This summer, I will be doing some classes with students back here in my country and helping them with conversation because they can write and read well now, but they need to practice their conversation. And I will be um, doing things in my yard. Um, we have a big yard and um, so a big um, garden. So we have to take care of the plants and and everything. So I will be doing that. Okay. So where did you go last summer vacation? Last summer vacation, I didn't. I we went to Texas to visit our daughter, but we didn't go anywhere else because of COVID, and so we couldn't really go places. So we just went to our daughter's and stayed at her house and visited her. Uh, so who did you go with? I went with my husband and our puppy. Our yes. puppy has a little special seat in our car, and that way she can sit up and she can look out the window. Yeah, I saw. Uh, what is your funnest memory on your last summer vacation? Let's see, what is the funnest memory? I think when... Um, our daughter has a swimming pool in her yard and we were able on very hot days to go out and be in the swimming pool and sit and enjoy and visit with each other. So that was a nice memory. Yes, and the last one is what place do you would like to visit? What place would I like to visit? Well, I really want to come back to your country and visit because for eight years I came every single year and now I have not been able to come for three years and I miss. So I'm really hoping very soon that I can come back to your country. Yes. Okay. Very good. Well, I will see you tomorrow and we will go over the questions from the book with Baltron and you have a you have a good night's rest and a good day tomorrow. When you go to school now that your tests are over, what do you do? Do you do you still have to study? Uh yes, I still have to study a, just a bit. Just a bit. Good. Yes. Good, good, good. It's good to have a rest. Yes. Okay. Well, it was good to see you, and I will see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.